Right, so when life gives you lemons, you make light reports. Um, welcome back. It has been almost a month since the last light reports. And yeah, let's get started. But before that, I got rid of the bird's nest on my head. The crow nest is gone. So I got a haircut looking fresh, new glasses looking sexy as always. You already know. All right. So the first article is called The Spring 2017 Manga Guide. So I actually been more and more into reading manga been enjoying a lot more manga than animes lately because i like i said i think in the last slide reports i, I already watched over 100 anime now i want to read at least maybe 50 manga the spring 2017 manga god all right let's get this started Welcome to Anime News Network, first ever spring manga guide. You may have seen one of our seasonal anime preview guides where a team of critics writes up each anime television premiere as it airs at the beginning of a season. Now, doing something like that for manga is tricky. There's no equivalent seasonal release schedule for a new manga series. So here's what we came up with. A survey across three months worth of manga releases. In the case of this guide, April, May, and June 2017 with a focus on premiering series. This is an ongoing guide every day for the for the next week. We'll be updating the guide twice a day with new titles and um, in general release order, meaning we'll begin the guide with April books and conclude with June books. We also have a survey of the notable light novel releases from those months published publishing on Friday. So I'm excited. Okay, let's see. Let's see what they have here in this guide. Baruto Volume 1. Um, the Baruto manga, to tell you the truth, in my eyes, is not that good. Ghost Diary Volume 1. I think I heard of this. Water Dragon's Bride Volume 1. Yeah, I'm not gonna judge the the vol the the mangas by the cover. Days Volume One, Domestic Girlfriend Volume One, Yu-Gi-Oh Arc V Volume One. Okay, DTO Paradise Lost Volume One, Great Teacher Onisuka. They really got Great Teacher Onisuka. Is this either a new manga or a reprint? Like, what the heck? This is old Dragon Ball Super Volume One. They, it's like um. I know they said stories from April to June, but it's like, um, Dragon Ball Super, the manga, oh no, okay, the first volume just came out, so I'm not gonna say anything, but, yeah, it's like, um, I guess this is the only new things, Days Volume 1, I, I wanna know what this is about, Days, what is this, um, looks like it's about a slice of life soccer series, so, yeah, I'm not in too interested into that, so, yeah, um, if you want to check out some new manga volumes that have recently come up, came out, then definitely check out the link to this article. Now, Steins Gate. This is interesting. Steins Gate Zero manga launches in August. Steins Gate was a anime series where I always thought it was very underrated, but then I made a video I think some years ago where I said then people are like underrated. A lot of people know about this. Uh, well, by underrated I meant like it was not really mainstream or anything. Like a lot of people didn't know about it. But I'm excited for this. Science Gate Zero manga launches in August. The July issue of Kodoko's Young Ace magazine revealed on Friday that 5PB Science Gate Zero game is inspiring. A serialized manga adaptation by Taka Himeno, Grisa Grisaya no Kajitsu, okay, that will debut in the magazine September issue on August 14th, on August 4th, sorry about that. The manga will be a prequel to the game. Science Gate Zero's backstory takes place directly after the events of the original game and also includes stories from um, three of the Science Gate's novels as well as some drama CDs with some changes to the scenario. So I never knew that Science Gate had light novels. This is very interesting. I don't, I don't think this is a new concept or whatever, but a lot of light novels get are getting adapted into mangas, which I do I do not mind at all, like the Fate franchise and stuff like that, because the adaptations is great, is great. Um, and I always wonder what was the difference between a light novel and manga. I think maybe the only difference is that the light novel doesn't have pictures, it just works. It's just like a book, but um, I guess that's it. We're getting a Steins Gate Zero manga. I'll check that out and see how it is. I just remember from what I remembered on Steins Gate that it was a very good series. It was very, very good anime. All right. Now, the the article I'm most excited about is Erase K-Sanbei starts new manga series. So, 
Erase was very amazing because all of the episodes came out in one day. I watched all of it, not in one day, but it was a great series. A lot of, a lot of criticisms. People are like, oh, this is pedophilia. Uh, all that stuff. But the intro, the story was captivating is what I'm trying to say. Um, it was a little mystery, but not really because the villain and stuff, you know, it was kind of obvious as well. So it was a cool story. I always like things with time travel. I like Back to the Future. I like Erased. Um, let me think of anything else time travel wise. Out of the top of my head, I can't think of it. But I just like things to do with time travel, traveling through time. Not everything, because some some um, series, television shows, and stuff like that, they do the time travel aspect, the genre, very bad, very poorly written. So, not I don't like everything, but some things. Okay. This year's July issue of Kadoka's Young Ace Monthly Magazine announced on Friday that Erase K. Sambe will start a new manga series in the magazine. August issue which goes on sale on July 4th. The magazine did not reveal the manga's title or any other details. Zambe serialized Erase aka Boku Dake Ga Ina Machi from 2012 to March 2016 and a spin-off manga from June to November 2016. The manga was nominated for the Tetsuka Os Osamu Cultural Prize Reader Award in 2014. The manga Taisho Awards in 2015 and this year's Sion Comic Award. Yen Press released the manga's first volume, North America, on February 21st, and the second volume is slated for June 20th. An anime adaptation premiered in Jan January 2016. Aniplex of America licensed the series, and Country World Daisenku and Funimation streamed the series as it aired in Japan. The manga also inspired a live action film that opened in Japan in March 2016. Netflix also announced that it's producing a Japanese live action series adaptation that is slated for this winter. So, I'm not a big fan of anime adaptations, live action adaptations. I don't, I never really check them out. I know there's some good ones out there, but I just don't check them out. And I just like the, either the manga, the original source material of the manga, I said the I said that's either the anime or the original source of material the manga. I think it, it just does it better because seeing things in live action is just like kind of ruins the series a little bit. I never watched Dragon Ball Evolution. I am one of those lucky few souls. I when that movie first came out, I'm like, oh, a live action Dragon Ball movie that would be interesting. And then I saw videos, reviews, and the people were like. This is the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. This is worse than Avatar The Last Airbender and stuff. So, a lot of live action movies, they just do not work. Um, there's, like, if it's something simple, simple like Samurais and stuff like that, yeah, then yes, it will work because it's not like magical elements, crazy hairdos and stuff. And yeah, like Samurai Shampoo, like I would like to see a live action of that with some dude with a big afro or something like that. That would be pretty cool. Overall, um, this is the end of the slight reports. The articles were not super interesting. One talked about Erase getting a new manga series. Well, the creator of Erase creating a new manga series. Then the other one is Steins Gates getting a new manga. Then the other one is talking about mangas again. So I guess this slight report was just about mangas. So hope you enjoy the short one. Um, you know, on your Monday, I don't even know, Monday morning or Monday morning or Tuesday um, afternoon or whatever, wherever you are. Uh, hope you enjoyed this light reports. And remember to stay frosty. Peace.